make sure to check it out. Yes, right here. I'm not as loud as I probably am being. Either way, I just woke up from a nap. Vicente's with my mom. I'm about to dip to work. I have no plans for today. I have been away from my camera longer than I ever have. And that is specifically because I want to force myself. Hold on, let's Vicente's movie. I want to force myself to be uploading the day after or at least within a two day realm. Like, I dropped the Chicano Park Day video out of cycle on purpose because I wanted to give the people what they wanted and now we're gonna try to filter out all of the excess videos like well I don't mean excess videos but all the the reason why I'm five days ahead the reason why I'm five days ahead I'm gonna Good morning, everybody. You guys probably don't even believe I changed. I'm always wearing the same damn thing, flipping work clothes. It's like, does Vicente even own a different shirt besides the Mickey Mouse one? Yes, I do. And believe me, I want to wear them. And believe me, I want to be off. But for the next five days, not going to be. So it's technically good morning, but it's not going to be my good morning. It's actually going to be my outro. I just wanted to tell you guys that things at work have been great. I've been formulating a plan, right? Strategically um, focusing on the full-timers that I have at work and the part-timers that I have at work, uh, focusing on different things, right? So making plans and having them uh, try, to, try to take out those plans and and it seems like every single time that I'm giving them actions, it's like they're learning something. And I have to stop myself. And I think that you guys should think about that too, because a lot of times we assume everything. Like we assume people know things. We assume people are gonna know what to do. We're gonna assume that because they work there, like we might be new to, we might be seasoned to that um, environment, but we might also be new to a new store. Or whatever so we assume a lot of things whereas um, going into the store I talked about it a couple weeks ago probably now three weeks ago that I'm really just gonna learn and see what it is that people do know and try to attack it from that forefront and what it feels like is that a lot of the uh, associates that I'm uh, encountering aren't as knowledgeable as you might think and what that means is that yes they might know what the process is but they're not understanding exactly how that process is broken down and how they could really be good at it so what i've been doing is just really teaming up with all of my full timers again and then my part timers in different in different forms right so with my full timers they're responsible for departments so i'm going to make sure that i'm breaking down the process of merchandising uh placing uh product placement feature focuses filling uh 
fulfilling those future focuses and how you react to uh, certain merchandising standards and guides. Um, and then also for the part-timers and like going straight to the process where it's like, if, if you're on register, I, I really wanna make sure that you understand exactly what that process looks like. And then also the same for when you're in the, in the the on the sales floor, when you're on go backs. I mean, you know, if you work at a retail location, all of those things are, 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 I don't want to say common sense, but they're repetitive um, processes, right? You're going to do them the same every time. So if you have bad habits, it's really hard to shake and get somebody like an old dog to learn new tricks. Well, for uh, retail, like when they roll out new processes and they do it all the time, uh, you really got to be adaptive to that process and you have to uh, modify it to follow the new policy or the new process that has been implemented so if you pilot something it's really hard to transition some of your more seasoned uh, 20 year veterans or it's very fairly easy to bring on new people and then train them in that new behavior so I think that for today or my closing statement for yesterday is just something that I learned and it was that while I was closing a lot of people didn't actually know the breakdown of a lot of processes and a lot of merchandising a lot of things um, that we all have a plan for in my store so I feel comfortable with how I'm approaching these things and it might seem like it's going to take a long time to train everybody from from scratch but the long-term impact that it'll have and the the buy-in that I'll, I'll end up receiving by people being able to to count on me to not just um, coach the shit out of them assuming that they know stuff they're gonna really be able to um, understand that um, number one we care as a leader we care right number two we want to figure it out like we don't want to just assume anything and lastly they're gonna really be able to believe in the fact that at the end of the day that process or the way that I'm explaining it to them is going to be faster it's going to be better it's going to be more efficient or it's going to be whatever it may be that the company standard might need so as a leader think about those things I really wanted to close out this video with something that's going to help and benefit you as a leader or as a as somebody who wants to be a leader because a lot of times what we do is we just assume that people know and it might be the smallest thing like Oh, come on, how do you not know that? But you never know. You never know what somebody else was trained before. You never know what uh, work experience that they have. You never know that stuff. And if you assume those things, then you're gonna cheat somebody out of growing or you're gonna cheat somebody out of a, a proper um, training experience that on the job training isn't always um, sufficient. So you really have to be able to think like, all right, well, if they had eight hours of training, even if they had eight hours of training and we were just drilling every single process into their mind and they had to retain all of that stuff, think about how much of that that they would actually retain. They'd probably know what the process is. They'd probably know what they need to do, but they wouldn't know how everything broke down even if you explained it to them because that is a lot to retain. So every single day I just work with them and I've been working with them and there will be a point where we have a different conversation when things aren't going like we talked about, but until then, we just gotta be the best leaders that we can be and that's one of the ways we can do it.